when I met Chef James and listened to him talk about dough, I was like, oh. and that was like six months before I even tasted his pizza and I hired him right away. He's a really special chef. My name is Kevin Cox. I'm the owner of Funzie's Pizzeria at 36 St. Mark's Place in the East Village. Funzie's my son, so getting to name any business after your son, like that's really cool. Our team is amazing. Our customers come in and then they come back and they bring friends. The real goal is to become a community place. We really tried to recreate that like old school East Village pizzeria feel where it was a place you grab a slice or a pie, but also where you see like, you know, your friends in the neighborhood. I've always been like a wannabe artist. So I like just try and surround myself with people that are just really, really good artisans, whether it be using artists to hand paint all of our signs. Joe Lotto did this hand painted sign. He also did our main sign, which he absolutely killed it on that one. And Stucco and Giovanni Martini for spray painting our board. East Village is like all about like graffiti and like and like art. Their jackets are handmade by Jose Bellina, who I found in the garment district. That's really what it's about. It's just bring together like all of these you know, fantastic artisans. It's just real, it's us, and it's comfortable and unpretentious. A lot of the inspiration for the build out of the space came from my grandmother's house. I wanted to pair like New York's comfort food, which is pizza, with the place where like you get presents and like tons of hugs. So I just wanted to create that warm aura of the place. Well, you have to get the plain slice because you have to compare us against like, you know, your neighborhood spot or your favorite pizzeria. But the unanimous favorite is the chicory, which is a very untraditional slice. I wanted Chef to make like a green slice. So he picked chicory, he picked dandelion greens, and then he makes a dandelion cream. That's like the base with mozzarella. He deep fries bacon lardons, and then it's finished with a little lemon and, and fresh shaved Parmesan. When guests come back and bring their friends, they're always like, oh, you're gonna get the chicory slice. Oh, you're gonna get the burrata slice. Like that's another one because we put like a big glob of like stracciatella on top, then we finish it with some olive oil and some fresh shaved parmesan. We have three chefs in the kitchen. So I wanted to give them the ability to kind of like riff and kind of like get creative in the kitchen. So icebox cake is like a post-World War II style like dessert casserole. It is traditionally made with like graham cracker and then like a chocolate pudding and then cool whip. The housewife would throw it in the fridge and then she'd just scoop it and that would be like dessert for the family. Like, you know, boom. But like with chefs, you get to do, they do everything from scratch. You know, they're making like vanilla coulis and they're whipping fresh whipped cream and they're toasting coconuts. So we're doing like different ones every week depending on what is at the market. Right now we have kind of like a riff on like a strawberry shortcake with butter cookies and fresh whipped cream, fresh strawberries and then strawberry compote. That's really fire. New York has a pulse and like I feel that I found it in the East Village and then I was able to hopefully like add to it and become like in intermeshed with whatever the heck that is, especially when we have the OG East Village people come in and really have a fun time and have a great conversation with them and give them a great experience. Being able to connect with different people, being able to talk. That's why we have Funzie's Porch. It's like a place where you have the best people watching in New York City. Also have really cool conversations about music, art, what the DL is going on in the, in the neighborhood. You know, you get all your neighborhood gossip. It's important to me. Like details are so important in, in restaurants. Like having that connection is so important in restaurants. And, and really good ones, and that's what we're trying to do.